Hello, my name's Terry Harrison. I'm going to show you how to paint a lighthouse in watercolour. I've already prepared the, the drawing. It's a fairly simple scene. First, I'm going to put on some masking fluid. We use a masking fluid brush. If you want to keep your brush from uh, not being clogged up with masking fluid, if you wipe the brush over some soap, the soap will form a barrier between the hair on the brush and the masking fluid. Dip the brush into the masking fluid and I'm going to mask off the, the lighthouse. So bring that down very, very carefully. The middle bit, you just paint that in, but it's the edge you've got to be careful of. So nice steady brush stroke. Just mask off these bits on the base of the, the lighthouse, like that. There's the glass at the top. And along the shoreline, some white surf. So this is where the, the waves just come up to the, the rocks. And just a few light reflections in the water underneath the lighthouse. and some ripples and waves coming in. Slightly stronger and thicker as it comes closer to you. There we are, so wash the brush out then wait for the masking fluid to dry completely. Once the masking fluid has dried, we're going to paint the sky in next. So, large brush, this is the golden leaf brush. Clean water. Wet the sky area first. Ever so carefully, down over the rocks, over the lighthouse, don't try and paint around it, that's why we've got the masking fluid there. Let's make sure everything's covered. No standing water. Then, not too wet, start with some raw sienna. Put a wash of raw sienna over the sky area first. Squeeze the water out of the brush, then with some ultramarine. Start at the top of the painting and start to put in some blue, I'm going to sweep the colour up into the top right hand corner, touch more blue, then this cloud is more horizontal. While it's still wet, a darker colour, this is still ultramarine with some burnt umber. So plenty of colour, quite dark. And into the wet, now the reason for this dark here is because when I remove the masking fluid I want a, a light a light lighthouse on a dark background. So just sweep that up out of the painting, a little bit more dark along the bottom part of the sky. Just 
put some colour into the corner. Wash the brush out. Then we just let the sky dry. Next, we're going to paint in the headland. We're going to use this uh, flat three quarter inch brush made from synthetic mongoose. It's called Mock Mongoose. So load the brush with color. This is ultramarine and burnt umber. Put the colour on quite dark. Now you can create some textures by just moving the brush around like this, or you can scrape some textures with a plastic card. So credit card, debit card, any sort of card and just scrape the surface of the paper. It just acts like a squeegee. You're scraping the paint off the surface of the paper, leaving the darker colour in the dips of the textured paper. Change the colour again. Let's make this um, Slightly more sandy, so some raw sienna into there. Bring that down to the foreshore. Then go back to a darker colour. Burnt umber, ultramarine. Touch more blue. So down to the water's edge, maybe some green, this is some uh, country olive, put that into there, and right into the corner of the painting. Little rock there. Before it dries with the card, again just scrape the surface of the paper. Then out and quite dark at the bottom of the rock formation. Then allow that to dry.